Hey, okay, Stephanie. Yeah, she said here in Tennessee, we've seen a more than 200% increase, 200% increase since July 1st. And those numbers continue to grow. Doctors with Methodist Labonner Healthcare share their stories. Um, everybody's, I mean, honestly, a little bit demoralized by it. Dr. John Ike says he was just starting to think they were getting a taste of freedom from COVID-19 going weeks without treating someone with the deadly virus. But now the wave of heartbreak is back. Just look at the numbers. On June 24th, there were 14 COVID positive patients across the Methodist Labonner Healthcare System. Fast forward a few weeks to today, there's 87 inpatients with the virus. Um, it's a struggle mentally to, to see it rising, um, just adding to the tragic stories that we've already collected from the past year and a half. Um, especially when we know that this was all preventable. Preventable, he says, with the COVID-19 vaccine. MLH says they looked at 40 COVID-positive patients admitted earlier this month. 95% were unvaccinated. Doctors we talked to today said they have seen some cases of breakthrough infection, meaning someone was vaccinated for COVID-19, but still got the virus. They tell us those numbers are low. As we see increasing cases in our community, we will see some cases of breakthrough infection. However, the main job of the vaccines are really to keep people out of the hospital and prevent them from dying. Most of these breakthrough infections, however, um, patients have symptoms that are much milder, usually symptoms that most of us would associate with a cold. As we see more COVID-19 cases, experts tell us they do expect the number of COVID deaths to increase as well. Tonight, the push and the plea from the doctors, clear, get vaccinated. The thing that I wanna remind you of is that in almost all of the cases of severe illness, so things that are resulting in hospitalization and death, almost all of them are amongst the unvaccinated. And Stephanie Gregg, one of the striking things that Dr. Ike had to say, you heard from him there just there in the piece, he talked about, remember at the beginning of the pandemic, we talked about doing what you could to protect your family, your friends, your community. He says, now get the vaccine to protect yourself. We're live downtown tonight, Shay Arthur, WREG News Channel 3.